like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number eight is asking for us to simplify this expression that involves factorials. So in case you've never seen this before, anytime you've got a, 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 an excited N here, or an N with an exclamation point, or really any number with an exclamation point, what that means is that you multiply that number by every number that came before it. So like if it was 10, for instance, um, like and I'll just, uh, let me just do this one real quick. So if it was, or that one's kind of big, that's going to take a while to type. Let's do 5 factorial. That would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So whatever the number is, you multiply it by every positive integer that comes before it. So if I just have this in general, like n factorial, I would take that number n, whatever it is, and then multiply it by the number that came before it. Now the number that comes before n is n minus 1, because if n is 5, then the number that comes before that is 5 minus 1, which is 4, right? So it's n minus 1 times the number that came before that, which is n minus 2. And then you just keep going until you get all the way down to 1. So this is sort of a, a rough definition of what uh, factorial means. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this definition to help us simplify this expression. So we've got n plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial minus n. Okay, so the, really the only thing that I would suggest here is like this n plus 1 factorial. Um, we could rewrite that as n plus 1. You know, the number that comes before n plus 1 would be n. The number that comes before that and maybe I'll just write this to make it this a little bit clearer. So, sorry, uh, n plus 1 factorial will equal, just do this as a little side note, um, so I'll change the color here. Uh, maybe it'll make it a little darker blue to make it easier to read. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to just bring this out to the side. So anyway, this, this is going to be n plus 1, is the first number. The number that comes before n plus 1 would be 1 less than that. So n plus 1 minus 1 would just be n, okay? The one that the number that would come before that would be n minus 1 times n minus 2. Then you just keep multiplying all the way till you get to 1. Now what you'll what I want you to notice here is that after the first number, after n plus 1, once, once, once you get down to n here, all of this is just simply n factorial, right? This is n times the number before that times the number before that. So what we can say then is that n plus 1 factorial is actually equal to n plus 1 times all this, which is just simply n factorial. And I want you to rewrite it like that everything is going to simplify really quickly and work out really nicely. So that's what I'm going to do as my second step, is I'm going to rewrite this n plus 1 factorial as n plus 1 times n factorial. Now once I rewrite it like this, I can then simplify n factorial over n factorial reduces to 1, and so I'm just left with n plus 1 minus n, and n minus n is 0, so this just equals 1. And that's going to be our answer. And you can see that we've got that answer choice right here, b. And so the, really the trick here is just understanding how factorials work. Uh, but that's it for number 8. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.